you certainly had a lot of a lot of strikeouts this year, a couple of walks here and there. Just your relationship with Angier and how you guys have been trying to fix some of those free pass issues. Um, yeah, it really just comes down to execution. Um, I mean, that's all. That's really what we've been focused on is having the right mindset, going out there and executing the pitches that and Coach Andrew calls. As a guy who comes out of the bullpen, seeing Dallas get Player of the Week, so seeing somebody in kind of a similar role rewarded like that, what can that mean for you guys? Um, really, for our pitching staff as a whole, it really gives us it gives us that boost of confidence um, that it really it doesn't matter what your role is if you execute your if you execute the pitches Coach Andrew calls and you. Um, I mean, if your defense plays well behind you, I mean, anything's possible. What's it like being one of the, the first bullpen guys out there as a true freshman, just coming in this year, maybe not having certain expectations, but then being immediately thrown in the fire? Um, it really, it just, um, it shows the trust and confidence Coach Angier has in us as pitchers. And um, it really, it kind of eases our minds and lets us go out there and um, do what we what we know how to do. A lot of freshman pitchers on this team. How do you guys just kind of feed off each other and you know maybe support each other when one of you might have a rough outing? Um, I mean, we all know we're young. We all know um, struggles are a part of the game. But I mean, really, yeah, we all just tell each other like we're here for a reason. We just do do what we know how to do and have our faith in Coach Angier and the rest of the coaches, and we'll be fine. Who are some of the older guys that you might look to in case you do have a struggle? I'm just asking them about their experiences in the past. Um, Jay Stoffel's a big one, Logan Mercado, Matt Dallas, Josh Malaris. I mean, all the older guys really, they'll have a bit of knowledge in one way or another that can help one guy or another in any way. What's the biggest piece of advice that you've gotten, or at least the most memorable one? Um, I'd say um, Malaris. I mean, really, like we know, he said, like, we're young, like, so what? <laughs> like, we have to mature, like, kind of just no, get our feet wet, just dive head first into the fire. And I mean, really just have fun out there and do what we know how to do. Is there, is there a picture that you try to emulate with your windup or is that just kind of all natural? No, it's really just natural. I mean, talking with coach and you're kind of seeing what works, what doesn't. Your, your pitch mix, I just, since it's the first time, I just want to double check on what it is that you throw. I think you got three, uh, I, three pitches, right? Fastball change up slider. What do you think is your best as of right now? Fastball. Yeah. <laughs> You uh, earlier this year, you got out of a huge you know, bases loaded jam with a strikeout swinging, just that type of emotion. What, what was it from that that just made it such a special moment for you? Um, I guess it was really kind of um, the competitiveness in me. Like I struggled, um, gave up a I think I walked two guys and gave up a hit and really just saying, all right, this is what am I going to do here? Am I either going to bear down and have faith in the guys behind me or am I going to walk this guy? And who knows what happens? But really just, yeah, putting the faith in the guys behind me and throwing the pitch over the plate and having trust in Coach Injury and the guys behind me. From, from here on out, just what are you looking to improve upon? Like when you go into your bullpen sessions with Angier, just what are some of the things that you're you know, pinpointing as trying to improve at this point? Uh, really just everything. I mean, um, I mean, there's always room for improvement anywhere you look in anyone's game. And so I'm really just trying to um, just improve my game in general and um, having the faith in Coach Angier um, to have him help me know what I need to work on and work on it. You mentioned your, your fastball is your best pitch right now. Is there anything specifically you've tried to work on with those other two pitches? To um, yeah, really just being more consistent in the zone with them. I mean, that's the big thing Coach Andrews had me work on, and I need to, I need to be more consistent in the zone with those two pitches. All the lefties on staff are, are freshmen, yeah. yourself included, obviously. But you guys uh, you guys click together? Is that like a little lefty club of the group? Or? Uh, yeah, kind of. I mean, we really, we try to help each other. Because, I mean, we all have our different quirks about us. But, I mean, yeah, really, we all try to pick each other's brains and try to see what works for others, what doesn't. Have you uh, have you jumped in with Angier about what Northwestern State looks like this year? Uh, no, not yet, no. Have you reviewed any of the film yet? Um, I have not personally. I'm sure he has. I mean, he, he knows what he's doing. I trust him a lot.